Why don't you tell me a little bit about what uh, the Buried Life is? So the Buried Life, um, are it's a group of my friends and I. We started in a small town in Canada. Um, we basically made a list of things we wanted to do before we died, hit the road, tried to accomplish as many as possible, and for everything we do on our list, we help someone that we meet do something that they want to do. The purpose of what's going on today here? Today we are crossing off uh, one of our biggest list items, which is uh, break a Guinness record. How are you going to do that today? We have set up the largest speed dating uh, ever right today. So, yeah, we're pretty excited. Now, why, uh, why USF? So, we travel across the country talking with uh, at college campuses. Then we held a contest where um, we would come back to one college that we'd been to and cross off a list item, and USF won. So, it's actually one of our, it's our favorite college to come to. So, we love it down here. What? Um, the weather, the people. Uh, we stay at St. Pete's Beach. It's amazing, <laughs> uh, and the uh, the all the drinks come with little umbrellas in them. So you know you can't get, can't go wrong. Um, of, of all the world records to set, why speed mixers? Is it because you can get so many people involved? Yeah, I mean, we want to do something with our, you know, the community and the fans and stuff. So we wanted to do something where everyone could, everyone could be involved and we could cross it off with everyone. So um, this is, you know, this is the biggest and funnest thing we could think of. Okay. When you're, um, when you, is it with your group, with you know the idea of what you want to do before you die yeah is is do college students have i don't want to say the best ideas but why why college students why do you think you guys are so popular with college students i mean i think because they're our peers you know we started this project in a garage you know for to inspire our friends to do the things that they really wanted to do um i think it resonates with college kids because we were going through something in college that everyone goes through like we didn't know what we we're going to do with our life we were confused we were frustrated so you know we basically thought okay why aren't we doing the things we really want to do let's make a list let's just do them like who cares if we can't let's try and that's how this whole project started like you know we put on the list anything we could think of get on the cover of Rolling Stone, make a TV show, write a book, you know, like we made a TV show with MTV, we just wrote a book that's number one New York Times bestseller, and it's just, it's proof to us that you can do anything, you know? And this is just you and a group of friends, how many of them are you, and how old are you guys? Uh, there's four of us total. We started this six years ago when we were 19 and 22, um, you know, and we've been, we've been doing it ever since. It, it, was, it, was, it was only supposed to be a two week road trip, like we board an RV, bought a camera on eBay and just like hit the road for two weeks. We're going to try and cross as many things off and help people. And we've been doing it for six years, you know? So like for us, it's college is important because college kids are important to us because like that's where we were when we were confused, you know? And we're not saying like drop out of college and go do the things, you know, you want to do. It's like, just don't wait till you're retired, you know? Like there's, you go to school and you do the things that you really want to do or you choose the direction of school that you really want. Like not what your parents want, not what's your, you know, teachers think you should do, you just like, you just do it. Because a lot of people have called us crazy, you know, when we started this, they're like, what are you guys doing? And, you know, you never do anything good if people aren't calling you crazy. Uh, how many uh, how many things do you think there were on your list when you started and how many are on there now? Uh, we've done, a, so there's a hundred things on the list, we've done about 81, yeah. So uh, If there's anything left on that list that you really, really, what do you think is going to be number 100 and the most difficult to do, perhaps? Uh, the most difficult is toss up between go to space and uh, grow a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, lastly, um, well, what, do you, what, what, what has been the reaction when you talk to these students at USF, yeah. uh, the kids today, even the kids who came out and saw you guys speak? You know, what, is, uh, what do you think of the kids? I mean, the reaction here has been incredible. You know, that's why we came back. It was the biggest, you know, reaction that we've had out of any college. So, um, you know, they're just they're, they're they're just excited to do something big and meaningful and whatever that is, and that's what gets us excited. You know, it's like kids that are that are just fired up to do something. Did you ever think you'd make a career of this? And what, once you get to 100, what are you going to do then? Then we die. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I mean, once we, we add stuff to the list all the time. It's just going to grow. You know, as you grow, your priorities change. You add things. When Obama got elected, we had to play basketball with the president on the list. So, like, it'll it'll keep going. And it just evolves, you know. It's, now it's things like make a movie, you know. Like, uh, we want to do. We want to try and lower the suicide rate in America by 1%, you know. It's like we just crossed off write a best-selling book. So, it's like it just keeps growing.